They said we were hoping the leopard was down here somewhere. Who are you? <coughs> Good spot, Vim. It looks like Tingana. Hello, old man. He is a very old, well, he's not very old, but he's one of the older male leopards we get in this area. His name is Tingana, uh, which means shy, but he's not shy anymore. He used to be shy when he arrived um, in this area, but he is no longer shy. So he's having a bit of a tough time at the moment. There's, there's young new males that are coming in and giving him problems and pushing him around. He's been fighting quite a bit. Well, it's always good when a plan walks out. We're actually looking for a different leopard called Hasana. And it makes sense that Hasana might not be here. Oh, no, there's another leopard. There's two leopards. There's Hasana. I was just turned around. I heard some noise. So there's another leopard right here. That's the one I was looking for. His name is Hosana. And that's probably, most likely, we can never be 100% sure with leopards, that's probably his dad. Let's just see in a spot where we can see both of them nicely. And a little bit further back, so we're in the shade, because it is quite hot. How you, oh, no, we're not winning here. Is there a drop-off there, Vian? Oh, okay. Okay, we're just going to move slightly. So, what a treat. Not one, but two leopards. Hello, little man. So this is the young boy. His name is Hosana. Oh, he's a big yawn. Look at his teeth. And well done, guys. The big cats that occur in Africa are indeed, apart from leopard, lion and cheetah. But jaguars don't. Oh, Impala running in. Let's see if they spot it. They haven't spotted it. Tingana spotted it. He just changed his body language completely. And Hosanna is going towards his dad. Now, sometimes leopard dads cannot be very, are not very friendly. Vim, I'm just going to roll forward here quickly. There we go, he's already growling. Hosanna is already growling and snarling uh, the dad so I was just warning that leopard dads are sometimes not very friendly at all he's right behind him now look at this this is incredible this is not something you see every day you can see how much bigger his dad is see how much bigger his neck is You know, we can see both of them now. They're both looking quite hungry. Now, uh, they sometimes will share a food, but it's not very common. Yeah, I'm going to sit here to see what happens next with these leopards. In the meantime, let's go see what Steve's up to. Well, they are just lying down in the sand, still quite close to each other. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? There we go. Dominant male and the next generation and it is absolutely gorgeous very very rare to see this type of interaction oh here we go again he might get growled at again here we go he's getting snarled at again oh you just got spotted as well I think the monkeys just spotted the leopards can hear the monkeys. I remember I told you squirrels will talk as well, but some monkeys do as well. They're just saying, leopard, 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 everyone, careful, leopard. Now, it's not impossible that that, there's another leopard even in this area that that monkey is alarm calling at, because this morning I had alarm calls while we were sitting with Hasana, and Tingana was on Juma, so... 
there it could very easily be a third leopard in this little valley today. Well, he, he just passed right next to VM behind the vehicle. He's continuing to head east. He's still hungry, still on the hunt. Okay, let's move around. Look at that camouflage through that fallen Combritum. You can just see his white tail. Isn't that beautiful? And here we have a very, very sort of postcard picturesque leopard pose for you. There's this fallen marula tree and he has found a lovely spot to just lie down on. He's just stopped now, but unfortunately he is heading towards Torchwood. Mm, that's not good. We were hoping he was going to go into Jumat, not Torchwood. He might just wander down the main road, you never know with our Hosanna. Now often if he goes into Torchwood around here, he pops out on Cheetah Cut Line. He could just change his mind, head down towards Chitwa again. Isn't that stunning? Oh yeah. Is he going to smile at the camera, Ferg? is go on to Shibamu and then jump out and check Gauri Main all the way down to Triple M. It's that time of the night where the animals are going to start moving. I didn't, I didn't hear if the Nkumas made a kill or not. If they didn't make a kill, they'll probably get going. Where they'll go, I'm not sure. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, oh, it's fine. Do you know what? It's okay. We'll just have a look at this leopard. You know what I'm going to do, Craig? I'm actually going to move off the road slightly. <laughs> Mickey says, how do I always do it? Hukumori. Hello, boy. It is Hukumori, too. I'm totally going to sneak a little video as he walks past. Tristan's favorite with his tongue sticking out. Hello, big boy. Was it so cool? I'm so happy. I'm going to take a video of him walking past because I don't have a walk bar from Hukumori. I've got of all the other male leopards. Can you see me? How close he is. Hi, big boy. I think he's going to go and... Um, Oh, he's a little bit nervous as we Just move. One above his right eye, which is healing quite nicely. Scarring up. We still don't know if he's going to go and drink or not. Hello, beautiful boy. You're panting quite a bit, aren't you? Oh, he's such a cool cat. I've never seen a leopard like him before with eyes like his. And his whole mannerism is just so cool. Beautiful rosettes, too. Very dark spots on his legs. Here he comes, a little big boy. I'm not afraid of the cars at all. Sometimes he does a little trot past, but he's normally quite cool. Normally quite good. Are you thirsty, my boy? Why don't you come down and have a drink at Treehouse Dab? He's on the lookout. Um, he stops and he listens. Could be listening for other leopards. Could be listening for potential prey. This is awesome. You can hear the laughing doves behind me. I don't think this is a laughing matter at all. Mm. 
No. I'm trying to think how many times I've actually seen Hokumori. It hasn't been that many. I think I can still count it on one hand. And Ravinda, my first thoughts of Hokumori when I saw him, what was my first sighting of him again? It was uh, him dragging that carcass around near Voya Teledam. Why oh, are you going to go and have a drink? No, you're just sneaking. You're taking your shortcut yourself, aren't you? And, uh, well, that look, at first I was a bit nervous when I saw him staring at me. I was like, hey, okay, this is a... A little bit nerve-wracking, but okay, we'll go with it. And he stood and he just looked at you for ages. And he does that when you first see him. He's smelling something there. Osana likes it around here too. Um, so, impressed. I was very impressed by him. Definitely picking up the scent of it. I don't know what, though. Maybe he's going to roll in something. Are you licking it now? Whatever is on the ground. What's he doing? It's he's going to flim and grimace. No, he didn't. Mm, now he's salivating quite a bit. And if it is the scent of another male leopard, that will bring in on, on something like that. You know what it's like when you get so angry, and I'm sure everybody's experienced that, which is sad because you know, no one likes an angry person, and I'm sure you don't like it yourself when you get angry like that. But have you ever had it where you're just so furious that you're spitting? It's literally what happens with leopards, with male leopards. They go, who's been here? I've just marked my territory. How dare they come over and, you know, mark over my scent. It's an insult. It's a real slap to their face. And they do. They become infuriated.